It's the rate of change between any two points of a line. It tells us the steepness of a line. To find slope, find the ratio of the change in y, which is the vertical uh, change, to the change in x, which is the horizontal change. So slope is a ratio of change in y over change in x. Another way people memorize this is they just memorize the rise over run. They just memorize rise over run. Rise is the vertical, run is the horizontal component. Now slope can be positive or negative. Positive slope means you're going up, negative slope means you're going down. And we always start on the left side of the graph and go to the right. So on this graph, I start on the left, I go to the right, the line is going up. So that means that this is positive slope. Do the same thing for the second graph. Start on the left, move to the right. As you move from the left to the right, you see that the line goes down. That means that this line has negative slope. So in real life, this means that when you walk up the hill, that's positive slope, and back down sliding is negative slope. If you want to find the slope of a line, always first decide if it's positive or negative. Start on the left, move to the right, and you can see that this line goes up. So the slope's going to be positive. And slope is always the rise over the run. So the vertical part over the horizontal part. Find two points on the line. And first find out how much vertical change, or how much does it rise to go from one point to the other. And you can see that the points have a rise of four. Now we want to find the run, the horizontal part. How much horizontal change needs to happen in between the two points? And you can see that that's two. Go ahead and simplify that to two over one. So we have a rise of two over one, or you could just say a slope of two. Let's find the slope of this line. Again, start on the left, move towards the right, and decide is the line going up or down. As you start on the left, the line goes down, so the slope has to be negative. Next, find two points on the line so that we can find the vertical and horizontal change between them. Sometimes it helps to draw a triangle between the two points. If you start at that lower point, you can see that it's two units below the higher point. So the rise is two. The run between the left point and the right point covers a distance of eight units. So we can now simplify that to negative quarter, or negative one-fourth slope. All right, here's one more. Let's find the slope of this line. As you go from left to right, the line is going up. So the slope is going to be positive. Now find any two points on the line. It doesn't matter what two points you pick, because the slope is always the same on a straight line. Starting at the lower point and going up to the higher point, you can count and see that there are going to be seven units. So the rise is seven. Now we count off and calculate that the horizontal change, the run, is equal to five units. So the slope is positive seven-fifths. sledding hill. It's at the Columbia Golf Club on Central Avenue here in Minneapolis and it's just behind the clubhouse. Using the Minnesota DNR elevation maps on the internet you can represent the top of the sledding hill with the point zero, 900 feet, and the bottom of the hill as 200 feet, 800 feet. 
estimate the slope of the sledding hill at the Columbia Golf Club. I'm going to use a graph to show this visually, and I'm going to count by 100s because the numbers are pretty large. The first point, 0, 900. Remember, the first is the x, and the second coordinate is the y value. So I have a y value of 0, 900. The second one is 200, 850, and I can draw a line connecting those two points. Now that I have the line, it's easy to see that as I move from left to right, the hill is going down, and so the slope is going to be negative. The change in the rise is going to be the difference of the y value. So 900 minus 850 is 50 feet vertical change. The horizontal change is the difference between the x coordinates, so 200 minus 0 would have a horizontal run of 200. So I have negative 50 over 200, which can be simplified to a slope of negative 1 fourth. 